Hello, my name is Ethan Hines. I'll be doing my experiment on regulator characterization. For a bit of context, regulators are used on rockets to pressurize their tanks. So we have nitrogen here, which is used as a pressurant that flows into both the tanks and is regulated down to a different pressure with the regulators, and then that pushes the fuel and oxidizer into the engine, allowing them to combust. For the test setup, I'll be using an 18-foot tall liquid rocket. I'll be using water and LN2 instead of the regular propellants for safety reasons. The test was conducted at NARA, and the sensors used are pressure, transducer and pressure transducers, and those are located on the tanks and upstream of the regulators and on the injector. So first of all, what is a regulator? Regulators are highly dynamic systems, and they have a lot of internal components moving around. So let's start with from the beginning. First you have the inlet, which has upstream pressure that goes in to the regulator. Then that upstream pressure is going through an orifice, which varies in size, which effectively regulates the pressure by varying that. So whenever the regulator has a too high pressure downstream of it, the orifice will close. Whenever the pressure is too low downstream, the orifice will open. And that is all done by the set, the set pressure and the regulator pressure like difference. So the, system, the sensing piston will shift up and down and allow the regulator to open or close and effectively regulate the pressure downstream of it. Alright, so part of regulators and some of the weird phenomenon that you see with them is called droop. So droop is a difference in the initial tank pressure when you're steady state and then your tank pressure during a flow. And you can see this difference shown on the plot. Uh, essentially, droop is a function of both the tank pressure and the flow rate through the regulator. And higher flow and higher pressure both mean a higher droop. Here is a video. Uh, let's see if it'll play. So that's a flow using liquid nitrogen, and now all that uh, smoky looking stuff is really cold gas. So yeah, that's one of the tests, and here's some data from that test. So here's two different flows. One was done at low flow and a low pressure. Other one was done at high, high flow rate and high pressure. You can see the droops are significantly different, one being 300, one being 160. And the data we're looking at right now is from the oxygen tank. Now since when we're testing we're not using our actual propellants, we have to figure out how to convert from those propellants to the actual propellants we'd, we'd use during a fire. So to do that, I made a regulator simulator in MATLAB, and I'm going to explain how that works. So essentially the first thing you do is it calculates the volumetric flow rate of the propellant in out of the tank, and that volume flow rate has to be displaced by an equal amount of volume of gas that goes to the right. So then I calculate the mass flow through the regulator, through all the orifices of the regulator into the tank, and I assume that the uh, variable orifice within the regulator is a linear function of the pressure differential between the internal leg pressure and the set pressure of the regulator. Then I can calculate the all the pressures throughout the reg, upstream of the reg, in the reg, and downstream of the reg, and basically iterating on all of this repeatedly flowing through the reg whenever the tank pressure deplenishes. I iterate on that over an entire flow and then I can find the initial point before the flow where the uh, steady pressure is and then when the I can then find the uh, pressure during the flow and that allows me to find the droop and then I repeat that over and over for a bunch of different flows and iterate over a bunch of different mass flows and pressures to get this plot on the right. So iterating and running the droop calculator over every single flow with all these different numbers, we then get these three lines which are represented are showing different pressures uh, that the reg is actually regulating to. And then the green dots show the actual data we obtained. So you can see it lines up pretty nicely. And using this uh, graph, we can find what the actual droop would be for an actual static fire or launch with the actual propellants we would use. And then here's more uh, two more of those plots. The one on the right is the one we just saw. The one on the left is one for fuel, and it's essentially the same exact thing. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for listening. Uh, goodbye.